Hey guys, Jarek here, and Komodo's back for some more Halo 4. This time I'm just going to be using the standard Assault Rifle, doing some Infinity Slayer on... I don't remember what the name of this map is. All the Forge maps, I'm not familiar with their names. I think this is like Simplex or something, some odd name like that. Um, I am... I like this map and I hate this map at the same time. It's one of those maps where I can't make up my mind whether I like it or not. Because, like the name states, it is very, very simple. And if you get dumb players, I don't know how the hell that killed that guy. Uh, if you get dumb players, this map is absolutely fantastic because a lot of people love running around just the edges and then they become completely oblivious to the middle of the map and you can get right up behind them. There's so many different ways to play people and that's what I love about this map, but at certain times I just do horrible on it. Like I'll just have one of those games where I can't kill a single fucking person. I I'm sorry, uh, if the name of this map really is Simplex, I feel bad because that immediately makes me think of Herpes. <laughs> <laughs> Because for those of you that don't know, um, hello, <laughs> that guy like came out of nowhere. The he whole team came out of nowhere. You. I thought there was just one guy over there, but nope. But yes, uh, for those of you that don't know, I, I pardon me if I get this information wrong, but uh, I know that uh, was it those fever blisters or whatever you want to call them, canker sores, are caused by the herpes simplex virus. Yeah. Immediately made me think herpes. <laughs> All right then, <laughs> and we move on. Yes. So questions, as um, I keep saying, leave questions down below in the comments. Try to make them not airsoft related. I get a lot of airsoft questions, so I just kind of don't feel like answering them. But I will answer your questions in future voiceovers. I get a lot of questions, so if I don't answer yours, don't be, don't feel uh, offended or anything. It's nothing personal. So first question, what is your fastest 5k time? I have absolutely no idea. I am honestly not a amazing long distance runner. I was definitely more of a sprinter and a mid distance runner than I was a long distance runner. However, I did do cross country a lot. Uh, and the main reason for doing cross country wasn't really to be competitive, which is completely out of my usual style. I'm normally a very competitive person. I play things to win. Uh, but when it comes to cross country, I mainly did it to get into shape for, for basketball season out of the summer. So I have no idea what my fastest 5k time is. I didn't really care. I was just trying to make sure I'd stayed in shape. Uh, I'm going to say for this question that uh, it does not apply to me. <laughs> I uh, grew up with asthma. And I didn't get a whole lot of exercise. And then my mom figured, hey, it would be a lot easier to feed you fast food. So I'm not exactly... I'm not a small guy. <laughs> well... The, the way you put that makes it sound like you're incredibly fat, and you're not. I feel like it sometimes. You're not. You're there. Trust me. There's a hell of a lot more people that are a lot more overweight than you are. You were not that bad. Yeah, and when I see them, I go, "Wow, I'm I'm not really that fat, am I?" <laughs> That's just, bad. Just go to a public pool, and you'll feel better about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. So, uh, next question here. I just came across the, another question saying what's your opinion of Megadeth's new album, I'll just go ahead and avoid that one. <laughs> uh, what games are you looking at coming out this year? And someone mentioned Rainbow Six in that question. Uh, I'm just going to say Rainbow Six Patriots is definitely not coming out this year. I have no idea when that's coming out, but it needs to fucking come out. Uh, I've been waiting for a long time, and I didn't get one kill out of this. I don't understand how. I got assist and nothing else. <laughs> but yeah, I really want Rainbow Six Patriots to come out, but let's be a little bit realistic here. It's not. It hasn't been confirmed. Uh, I highly doubt it'll come out any time within probably 2013, 2014. Uh, it seems like it's stuck in development hell, and it just can't seem to really get going anywhere. Uh, what I can say on this is uh, there was a big gap between the Rainbow Six games that I played. I literally started with, uh, I believe it was the first Rainbow Six on the N64. And I'll admit, it was probably one of the first tactical shooters I had ever played. It was annoying as all hell to me, and then I stopped being a stupid kid and I figured out how to play it, and I loved it. And then, just, wow, that guy, I swear, it seems like they just kind of charge you out of nowhere. Yeah, you die pretty quick in Halo 4, but I can't complain about that. Uh, anyway, uh, then there was a huge gap. I didn't play any of the Rainbow Six games until I came across uh, Vegas 2, and actually you introduced me to that game. I... I'd worked at GameStop for about two years, and I'd seen the game around, never touched it, it just never seemed like something that I wanted to play. I regret that, because that game was really fun. If they make it anything like that, and you know, uh, that's what, by Ubisoft, right? 
Ubisoft, yeah. Ubisoft, Ubisoft, whatever. Uh, if they don't screw it up like they did, uh, what was that last game they made? Future Soldier? Made? Yes. If they don't screw it up like that, I would love to buy it. I really would. Yeah, I'm very pessimistic when it comes to Ubisoft games, because I don't know what to expect. Some games they release, like Far Cry 3 and Blood Dragon, end up being very, very good. <laughs> Other games, like uh, Future Soldier, just where they totally take a series and then change it to something entirely different and completely ruin it and turn it into literally a third-person COD. <laughs> I, you know, I never know what to expect, so I never get my hopes up when they're when they're going to release a game. And speaking of that, there's, I'm actually, I don't want to say I'm getting hyped because, like I said, I don't like to get my hopes up for Ubisoft games, but I really want the new Splinter Cell game. <laughs> and the main reason is because they're bringing back Mercs vs. Spies, and it really looks like the old version of Mercs vs. Mercs vs. Spies, which for some reason was really hard to say for me. Uh, it, yeah, it basically looks like the old-fashioned Mercs vs. Spies of P Pandora Tomorrow and Chaos Theory. And I played that a lot. Like, I don't like stealth games. I could honestly care less about stealth. But I really like the multiplayer of those games. And then after those games, the multiplayer sucked and just turned to shit. So, you know, if they bring that back and they do a good job bringing that back, I am going to play the fuck out of that game and I'm going to love them for it. Um, they seem to be coming back a little bit. Ubisoft does seem to be doing a little bit of redeeming themselves. I mean, they dropped DRM about a year ago. They started releasing a few really good games. Uh, I can't think of any recent major fuck-up they've had, but, you know, if it's anything like that, then I'm going to be really happy with it. And, jeez, my team just stomped all over the other team. <laughs> wow. 300-point difference there. Got 20 kills. Pretty usual for a Halo game. Uh, not, nothing really too special there. Enjoy it.